I cannot believe we're already midway through December. This year went insanely fast. However, that also means it's time to start talking about some of the best products I've reviewed this year. Now this video is sponsored by Nvidia, but I got to choose which gaming products to recommend. Thankfully, all the best gaming computers have an Nvidia GPU or this video would not be possible. Also, to spice things up, we're giving away 12 Razer gaming mice. All you have to do is give the video a like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and comment below with your username. Now, I've reviewed a lot of gaming laptops this year, but the one that keeps coming to mind is the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro with NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070. The performance is fantastic. It's not too big to carry, and there's no major sacrifices. One of the highlights is the 16 inch display, which is a nice compromise between a 17 inch gaming laptop or a smaller 15 inch model. But it's one of the only few gaming laptops out there with a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. This is perfect for gaming, but also for productivity. I love that it's QHD at 165 Hertz, supports HDR and a screen brightness of up to 500 nits, Plus, unlike other gaming laptops at this price, it supports NVIDIA's G-Sync. As someone who creates content but loves to game, this is the sweet spot. Even the smaller things like the keyboard matter, instead of being a full-fledged gaming keyboard, the U-shaped keys hold a nice balance for general typing too. The touchpad is big enough and accurate enough to use, and the fact that most of the ports are on the back keeps the desk tidy since cables are not sticking out the sides. The CPU inside of here is fast and efficient, and as long as you keep it on hybrid mode, you can get anywhere from five to six hours of use before needing to charge. You can upgrade the RAM and storage when needed, and even when this is under full load, the laptop never gets too hot. The fact that you have a 125 watt RTX 3070 with dynamic boost up to 140 really talks about how well this thing performs at 1080p and allows you to play comfortably at QHD. The best part is that the price is fair and with that comes a muck switch allowing you to directly connect to that beefy NVIDIA GPU to get the best performance possible. Now, if you're not interested in buying a gaming laptop and are thinking about building a gaming PC, I advise you to think about purchasing a pre-build instead. It's really hard right now to get a good GPU. And if you don't wanna pay scalper prices, this is the best way to do it. I've always been a big fan of Main Gear. They build these incredible custom water-cooled PCs that really look like a piece of art, but I find their vibe lineup to be very reasonably priced. Unlike other pre-builds, you won't find any nasty green PCBs or OEM specific parts. All the parts inside of here are from companies you've heard of. The motherboard is from MSI, the RAM is uh, HyperX Fury, the cooler is from Coolmaster, and NVIDIA Founders Edition card. Everything can be upgraded, making it no different than a custom-built PC. The entry-level model starts at $1699, and that will net you a Ryzen 5 5600X and an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti, but right now, it's on sale for $1599 during this holiday season. But the one I have here is using a 5900X and an RTX 3080 Ti. The performance has been incredible for both creative workloads and for gaming. I primarily use DaVinci Resolve Studio to edit video, and this easily handled my multicam workload, along with LUTs, audio effects, while playing it back smoothly. And since it can take advantage of GPU acceleration, the 3080 Ti increased my render speeds over my previous system. But if you plan on gaming with this machine, I think QHD is the place to be right now, as you can play all demanding titles quite comfortably, even with ray tracing on. DLSS helps push the frame rates even higher without losing image quality, assuming the game supports it. Now under load, the CPU never gets too hot and the GPU stays quite cool. Main gear includes RGB on the case with a remote to manually change the colors. The only con I found was my unit didn't have Wi-Fi, so you'll either have to buy a dongle or custom build the vibe yourself and choose a motherboard that includes it. Shipping was quick, it was packaged extremely well, and the cable management was perfect. BIOS already had XMP1 activated, and the only setting I had to change was to enable resizable bar. As for the gaming monitor, it really depends on how hardcore of a gamer you are. If you want the best frame rates, you're still gaming at 1080p, and the Asus ROG Swift 
360 hertz is my personal pick, even more so now since the price has dropped since it came out earlier this year. The reason I like this monitor is not only because of the high refresh rate, but it has outstanding response time without having to use a TN panel. It's an IPS display, which means you get better viewing angles, the color accuracy is fantastic, which is great for gaming, but even better for creative workloads. It's well calibrated straight out of the box and it even supports HDR10. Now, if you have a 240 hertz monitor, you probably will not find much of a difference going up to 360 hertz, but if you're coming from 144 hertz or lower, you will notice how much smoother it is assuming the game's FPS can match the refresh rate. The monitor also has NVIDIA's G-Sync, and that is built-in G-Sync, not the compatible options you'll find on other monitors, which means its variable refresh rate is completely unlimited across all ranges. And since both the monitor and my Razer Viper Ultimate Gaming Mouse both support NVIDIA Reflex Analyzer, I can measure the mouse latency, system latency, and PC Plus display latency in order to optimize for the best gaming experience. NVIDIA's Reflex technology reduces system latency by bypassing the render queue and improves communication between the CPU and GPU. Essentially, this will lower your input lag by up to 80% and help you hit your shots quicker. Now this is a 24.5 inch monitor and the reason why I chose this size over 27 or bigger is because once you go above 25 inches, 1080p starts to not look so good and you're better off choosing a QHD or 4K panel. The bottom line is if you're looking for a 1080p 360 hertz monitor and your eyeballs and gaming skill can take advantage of it, this monitor is definitely one you should check out. All right. So that wraps up my top gaming laptop and desktop picks for 2021. Links to all of these awesome devices will be in the description down below. Don't forget to drop a comment for the giveaway and let me know if you'd rather rock a gaming laptop or a desktop. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.